Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Gabe, I'm part of the OA Genius team, and today we'll be talking about how to set up your Amazon dropshipping business from A to Z. So, brief overview, uh, we'll get started by walking you through the initial Amazon account setup, and then we'll walk you through the account configuration, so inside your Amazon Seller Central account, what you need to what you need to configure. Uh, next, we'll talk about business productivity softwares that you'll need to manage the business. And then and moving forward, we'll talk about the next steps that you need to take. Now, before we get started, I've outlined this timeline to success. So month number one is learning everything that you possibly can about the business, which we will help you with uh, in, this, in this training and the coming trainings. Month number two is applying everything that you've learned. Month number three is uh, when you'll become buy box eligible. So you'll start seeing more, more orders coming through, increased profit, and which will lead you to month number four, which is the month that we expect you to break even. And then after that month, we'll go to month number five, which is analyzing the, your current progress. Month number six is refining that progress and documenting what you've already done. And then month number seven, based off of all the information that you've learned from the first six months, we'll move into scaling. And that includes hiring and training employees, learning different pricing strategies, adjusting your handling times, and, and a lot more cool stuff like that. So to get started, we're going to set up your Amazon selling account. So number one, enter your legal name. For example, John Doe. Right below that, you'll accept their terms and conditions, hit save, and move on to the next section. Tell us about your business. First, you're gonna to need to enter a business address. If you don't have a business address, you will enter your home address. Then you'll choose your unique business name to, to display on Amazon. So whatever your business name will be, this is where you'll enter it. And then if you have a website, uh, this is totally optional. Amazon doesn't require you to have a website uh, to sell on their marketplace. So don't worry about it if you don't have one. Um, just move on to this next section, select an option to receive a pin to verify your phone number. You'll choose SMS and then you'll enter your phone number and then hit text me now. Amazon will send you a verif verification uh, code. And once that's done, you'll move on to the next step, uh, setting up your billing method. The Amazon subscription fee is $39.99 a month for a professional selling account, which you'll need. So enter the card number that you want that bill to and then set up your deposit method. So uh, all the money that you make on Amazon's platform will be deposited into this, uh, into this bank account. Uh, once you're finished with this step, we'll move on to uh, your tax information. Um, so you'll hit start and then you'll be brought to this page. You'll choose which option uh, applies to you and for both of these and just follow the, follow the directions. It's pretty straightforward for the tax information. Um, and once you're complete with the uh, entering your tax information, it'll bring you to this last uh, step. Tell us about your products. Do you have universal product codes for all your products? Yes. Make sure that you choose yes for this option. Um, number two, do you own a brand? Um, so, or do you serve as an agent or representative or manufacturer of a brand for any of the products you want to sell on Amazon? So you'll either choose no or some of them. So number three, would you also like to target business buyers by enabling business seller features? Yes, you'll choose is what you'll choose for that one. And then how many different products you plan to list? Uh, more than 500. Whichever one's the highest option for you is what you'll choose. And that's it. So just a quick recap. You have your seller agreement, uh, which is adding your legal name and accepting the terms and conditions. Then you'll add your selling information. Uh, and then you have billing and deposit information, tax information, and then product information. So those are the five steps that we just walked through together. Uh, the next thing to do is account configuration. So everything you need to configure inside your Amazon Seller Central account. Number one is your shipping settings. So if your shipping settings look anything other than this, change it to what this uh, image looks like. So transit time three to five days for free economy, standard shipping, transit time two to four days, uh, and then, sh then the shipping fee for this one is $4.99 uh, per order plus 50 cents per pound. All right, so now here's an example of the regions that you want to select and the regions that you do not want to select. You will also want to make sure that you do not ship to PO boxes. So inside your shipping settings, make sure you state that you do not ship to PO boxes. This will save you both time and money in the future and a lot of headaches. The shipping terms, uh, which we provided you, are you can copy and paste into the shipping terms section of your Amazon Seller Central account. Just make sure to read it, read it real quick. Uh, as you can see, no freight forwarders, PO boxes, etc., are are added into here. 
and we only ship to the 48 continental US states. So these are really important. So copy and paste this uh, shipping terms into your Seller Central account, and we'll move on to the next section, which is customer service. We've outlined 12 of the most common customer service scenarios, uh, such as like if your supplier uh, ran out of stock, how you should respond to the buyer. If there's a state restriction on a product, if there's a lost package, the later back order, driver's investigation, uh, we've got you covered on, on all fronts. So just make sure to download these slides at the end of this video and then click this button up here, click here to download your free templates. This will allow you to download all the templates so you can just plug and play as you move forward. So business productivity, invest break even scale. So what are you investing in? You're investing in powerful software that will save you both time and money in the future. This will help you keep yourself organized, manage your business efficiently, and ultimately it'll, you know, these softwares will be the backbone to your business. We've developed a seven figure software stack to make sure that your backend is all set up properly. So the tools that are within this software stack that you'll need are a product research software, a inventory management and order management software, a feedback request software, price management software, and a repricing software. Here's our seven figure software stack. Uh, and to break it down for you, OA Genius, we will help you with product research slash product sourcing, inventory management and order management, and price management. Then inform.co will cover your repricing. So inform.co is the main repricing software you'll use. There's a direct API with OA Genius, uh, which we'll, we'll talk about in later videos. That's the software you're gonna to wanna to use for repricing. And then Feedback Genius will be for your feedback request software. So you can start getting uh, more feedback for your, for your seller account. So this is the seven figure software stack. Again, just to, uh, to close it off, your timeline to success. Month number one, learn. Number two, apply. Month number three, buy box eligibility. Month number four, break even. Month number five, analyze progress. Month number six, refine and document. Month number seven, scale. Thank you so much for watching. And I really hope this training you know, helps you make sure that your account's set up properly uh, for your Amazon dropshipping business. Really excited about all this training and look forward to having you all start crushing Amazon dropshipping. So thanks again for watching and uh, see you on the next video.